Fecal Swab – How to Use for Stool Sample Collection Each fecal swab kit consists of a sterile peel pouch, a regular nylon flock swab, and a screw cap tube containing 2 milliliters of Cary Blair medium. Have the patient obtain stool specimen into a clean dry pan or special container. Stool specimen should not contain urine or water. Open the peel pouch and remove the tube and the flocked swab applicator. Do not touch the swab tip. Always hold the shaft applicator above the marked breakpoint. Collect a small amount of stool by inserting all of the tip of the flocked swab into stool sample and rotate it. Bloody, slimy, or watery area of stools should be selected and sampled. Remove and examine to make sure there is fecal material visible on the tip of the swab. If needed, insert again the flocked swab into stool sample and rotate, making sure all the area of the swab tip is in contact with the sample. Note, the swab should not be used as a paddle or spoon, but as a probe. Do not try to collect and transfer an excessive amount of fecal sample into the transport medium tube. The swab tip only needs to be coated with sample material. After collection, transfer the swab into the fecal swab tube and check that the maximum filling line, max fill, on the label is not exceeded. Note, if sample collected exceeds maximum fill line, discard the swab in the tube and collect a new specimen using a different fecal swab. Holding the swab shaft between thumb and finger, Mash and mix the stool specimen against the side of the tube to evenly disperse and suspend the specimen in the medium. Hold the tube away from your face. Holding the swab shaft at the end, bend it at a 180 degree angle to break it off at the marked breakpoint. If needed, gently twist the shaft to completely remove it. Discard the broken upper part of the swab shaft and tighten the cap. Shake the vial until the sample appears homogeneous. Write patient's name and demographics on the tube or apply a label and send the sample to the laboratory. Now that the sample has been collected and received, you are ready to begin the BioFire Film Array GI panel test. Note, rectal swab specimens, sampling from the rectum not from a stool specimen, are not cleared for use with the Film Array GI panel. The Film Array reagent pouch stores all the necessary reagents for sample preparation, amplification, and detection. The following video shows instructions for using the Film Array when the sample is collected using fecal swab. Step 1. Prepare pouch. Open packaging and remove pouch. Insert pouch into pouch loading station. Place sample injection vial into red well. Place hydration injection vial into blue well. Step 2. Hydrate pouch. Twist off hydration injection vial, leaving cap in pouch loading station and insert into pouch hydration port. Forcefully push down to puncture seal. Wait as hydration solution is drawn into pouch. Step 3. Prepare sample mix. Add sample buffer to sample injection vial. Invert sample buffer ampule so that tip is facing up. Note, do not touch the tip of the ampule. Firmly pinch textured plastic tab on side of ampule until seal snaps. With the tip facing down, dispense sample buffer into sample injection vial using a slow, forceful squeeze, followed by a second squeeze. Avoid generating excessive bubbles. Thoroughly mix stool specimen in transport media, vortex fecal swab tube for 5 seconds. Remove cap and attach swab from fecal swab tube. Using transfer pipette, draw up specimen to second line. 
Add to sample injection vial. Tightly close lid of sample injection vial. Mix sample by gently inverting sample injection vial three times. Return sample injection vial to red well of pouch loading station. Warning, the sample buffer is harmful if swallowed, can cause serious eye damage and or skin irritation. Step 4. Load sample mix. Unscrew sample injection vial from cap. Pause for 3 to 5 seconds. Then remove sample injection vial, leaving cap in pouch loading station. Insert sample injection vial into pouch sample port. Forcefully push down to puncture seal. Wait as sample mix is drawn into pouch. Step 5. Run pouch. Follow instructions on computer for initiating a test.